Happy holiday! <laughs> uh, hey everyone, what's happening? Welcome to this episode of Fresh Start TV. Get in the festivious mood, man. Oh, that's three in a row, boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can't wait till this is all over. Oh my gosh, we've got so much stuff to talk to you about. It's it's the last episode before the new year, so we're gonna talk no, about. It's not. It's not? No. This is not that last episode? <laughs> we have one more week before Oh my gosh. Wow. A week after Christmas. Where does the time go? Because Christmas is in five know. days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we're going to talk about our picks for game of the year. Our picks for just best genres of the year. And we'll give you all that information. So we're going to talk about today. And also we're going to talk about the most anticipated games for 2016. So we'll get into that uh, today. My name's Will. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. This is Nine. Yo. Let's talk about our picks. Last week, guys, we talked about the PlayStation experience, a bunch of news there. Yeah. And we also talked about the VGA, so all the video game awards and all the things that were announced there. But um, let's talk about our, in our opinion, our own opinion. Yar. Yars. The Yars. The Yars. <laughs> yars. <laughs> Bill Pasadena. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so let's get things started with the best sports game, in our opinion. I'm going to stick with what I picked on the checkpoint, Rocket League. You going Rocket League? Rocket League, I love it. It's so much fun, and it's the only sports game that I can get into. Okay. I, 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 if I want to play a real sport, I'll go out and play with my friends. Go to, go to the sports play, you know, the gym, whatever, go play football, well, sure. basketball. I don't like playing sports as a video game. I want video games to be completely unrealistic. Okay. That being said, I will play Blitz because Blitz is totally unrealistic. That's an amazing game. I can't wait to do that. Um, well, I disagree in some for that. I'd say do both. Play games, play sports games, and play sports in real life. Jeremiah, what's your pick? I don't really do a lot of sports games. Yeah? <laughs> I don't, I was, I've been sitting here thinking this whole time, and I'm like, I don't know. I just don't even have a book. Barbie Horse to, Adventure? Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Part well, two. I think Jake Gyllenhaal. FIFA is a good contender. I think Rocket League is actually a contender. I think That's NBA has got to be in there. Uh, Madden's actually pretty good this year, and MLB also uh, stepped it up. Um, oh, yeah, they should I'm gonna have, that. I'm going to have to give my pick for best sports game to NBA 2K16. Uh, I thought it was a fantastic game and tons of fun. Um, but there you go. Uh, best indie game. Jeremiah, I'll we'll start with you. The best indie game for me. Uh, who did good? Who did good? Who done good? Yeah, who done did good? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go with nine no man, first. Because oh, I, you're no Man's Sky is not out yet, so no, I can't say No Man's Sky. That doesn't count. <laughs> best indie game. Um, I, I like Rocket League for that, too. Rocket League was really, really good. Yeah. Um, there's a couple others in there uh, for the Vita that were really good. Um, Zeo Drifter, Axiom Verge. I'm going to do Axiom really Verge. Is what I'm that was do. a lot of fun. Simply because it's just a nice throwback. Oh, yeah. And it's well done. It is. Yeah, it's incredibly well done. Was Binding of Isaac this year? No, it was a couple years ago. Oh, God, I'm still <laughs> the, the Afterbirth, the DLC was this year. But I haven't played that yet because it didn't come out. No, but everybody says it's fantastic. Um, what was the other game I played that I really liked? Mm. Oh, the Magicka? Um, that was good. Magicka 2? Yeah. yeah. That's another second thing. I'm going to go with Rocket League as well for best so in the game. Um, it was very innovative. It captured so many people. Didn't think I'd have fun Surprised with it. Surprised a lot of people. I'm just playing it over and over again. Uh, and we're doing right now our games of the year and genres and our picks and our opinion. Um, hopefully you agree with most of them. If you don't, let you us don't know about to. it. Uh, best action game. Jeremiah. Metal Gear. Metal Gear? Yeah. You're going Metal Gear. I am going Metal Gear for best action game. Okay. Sure. I say Batman. Ooh. Batman was an awesome game. Great. Great game. I, they did a fantastic, fantastic job. Fantastic job. Yeah. Just wonderful job. Um, I'm also going to go Batman See? On, on that. Batman. I mean... Uh, don't, I, don't get me wrong. Metal Gear was great. Oh, there, there's lots of other games but you could Metal throw Gear out there. But I, I thought that Batman, just the, the way it flowed, just the different things you could do, the story... Um, they, they did good ending Batman where they did. Yeah. Like, yeah. for sure. <laughs> uh, we won't ruin it for anybody. Most of you already know who the Arkham Knight is. However, just the other stuff that takes place after that, definitely worth the playthrough. Just yeah. good, good stuff. Um, best shooter? 
Um, I don't really know because I haven't had a chance to play Black Ops yet. Okay. Um, I have. <laughs> it's your opinion right now. I know. Black Ops is a lot of fun. I, I Honestly, I would probably throw Fallout in that mix because that game's a ton of fun and it's technically a shooter. Sort of. It's a first person shooter. Kind of. It's listed as an RPG. Uh, kind of. Kind sort of. I mean, you do a lot of. That's the problem with Fallout. It's it, all. It's, it's not all, enough. It's of any all one different thing. things. It's really it's all not. different things. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm gonna do Destiny for that one. Okay. The Taken King. Taken King. Taken King. Taken King. Taken King. Got a little bit of an accent there, Jeremiah. <laughs> Nine. You still haven't answered. What is your game best shooter of the year, 2015? I said Fallout. You did say Fallout. Yeah. Oh, I, said I, I was gonna say Fallout. I thought you in there. you were. Considering it, no, like I, a, I would say Fallout. No, that's interesting. Um, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna go with Destiny as well. Uh, I also um, they thought that they did a great job with the Taken King, and it's the multiplayer is better. Uh, I think the raids are better. The leveling system is better. Uh, some of the weapons make it more fun as a shooter. Um, I know at the VGAs they give it to Splatoon, which is definitely worthy. Call of Duty is amazing. Halo, really good. But I thought I thought Destiny was good. Destiny was different enough to stand out for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, so when we get back, we're going to talk about start thinking about your t picks for 2015 best racing game, best family game, and your game of the year. Mm. Okay. So we will get into that here in a second when we get back. One more quick question for you: uh, best DLC. Rocket League. Did I get any DLC this year? <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <laughs> hey, welcome back, everybody. Happy holidays. This is a very festivious episode. Um, yes, I'm saying it again, and I love that word. It's twice in one episode now. Okay, so we're going to continue. Um, my name's Will. This is Nine. Yeah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And <laughs> we're going to continue with Just our best get. games in those particular genres. We talked about best sports game, indie game, RPG. Did we do RPG? No, we, we, did. we did. We did. We did. Okay, we did best action game, best shooter. Now we'll do best racing game. Nine. I don't have a racing game because <laughs> there was only two that I know of that came out this year. Okay. Need for Speed, which I've heard is not good, and Forza, which I don't have any opinion on because I don't have an Xbox One. Forza Motorsport. A hundred times over. I'm going to go with that as well. Forza 6. Um, I'll just agree with you guys because I don't have an opinion. There is like 450 some odd vehicles in the game. That's It's decent. It's well done. It looks great. Plays great. Congratulations, Forza, for my pick, anyway. Um, by the way, Jeremiah, your DLC, favorite DLC? <laughs> Do you have one? Did you ever know. figure out if you bought any? I got the Taken King. That counts, doesn't it? <laughs> by God, we'll call it one. I All think right, we'll go sure. with that. That's my pick as well, then. Uh, best RPG? I'm going to go Bloodborne. Okay. I really love Bloodborne. I'm glad to see that you finally picked one of your favorite titles and series and, and yeah, that. I know I'm, you're and I'm going back through it again and I'm just enjoying it more and more and more and more and more. Even though I'm frustrated every time I play it. If Jeremiah! We're, if we're going by hours logged, then I'm going to do Fallout. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I'm already... There's a lot of hours logged, I can tell you that. Um, best RPG. You got Witcher, Bloodborne, Fallout. Um... I'm, I'm. <laughs> it's an RPG. I've got it. I'm gonna go Bloodborne as well. Yeah. I, I played it. I beat it. I put a lot of time into it. I just thought the the leveling was good. The progression was good. It had that difficulty sense. Atmosphere so was fantastic. The story was interesting, um, although bizarre. You know. Um, bizarre. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Bloodborne for me. Um, Next. Next. Family game. Best family game. I'm sticking with LEGO Dimensions. Oh, really? Yeah. I love LEGOs. I love what they've done. They've brought everything together. <laughs> I just saw a commercial for it, the advertising, and literally it's got like Portal, Homer, Scooby-Doo, Batman. Everything. The Doc from Back to the Future. Lord There's of the just Rings. like Lord of the Rings. Literally Gandalf. every kind of it's LEGO like, set available. And what world does 
Homer and Scooby Doo and Gandalf like go together to go. <laughs> you can have some funny zany That's adventures. one serious crime fighting scene right there. All right, we're talking about uh, uh, best our picks for games of the year. Uh, my name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is Jeremiah. This is he. And you're watching Press Start TV and listening to Press Start TV. Okay, um, family game of the year for you. Well, I'm going to do Lego Dimensions, too, because okay. there's just so much to do there. And I love that you can cross the, the worlds together, unlike all the other ones where you're specifically stuck to these characters for this world, these characters for this world. Well, the Skyliner did introduce some of the Amiibos, which I thought was interesting. That's, That's kind of cool, That's but pretty cool. it's only for the Wii. Yeah. So you don't get that stuff on PlayStation or Xbox. Sure, sure. And that was only so they could possibly sell enough to be able to do it because because the amiibos got so big they're yeah. like well if we don't include amiibo we just won't sell any on the way crazy big yeah and then you know i don't want to take anything away from disney infinity with the star wars figures obviously it's the year of star wars and there's lots going on lego dimensions is an amazing game but i also have to go mario maker i know it, it won at the vgas but mario maker i thought was a fan a service game, game and game. i think it's a it's a like little big planet it's a starting stool for game developers if you want to get into that and really creative people uh, you know, Jeremiah, I know you've got a lot of skill there as well, but it just lends itself to all that. Plus, people have been modding Nintendo, <laughs> the old school Nintendo games for years anyway. Sure. So it's like, you know, here it is. And uh, yeah. so that's my pick. The only reason I wouldn't pick that for family game is because of all the YouTube videos I've seen of people just cursing the day yeah. that this game was ever created. Well, hey, <laughs> it, but it's still Mario. It's just, so that's what I think of when I think of when I think of Mario Maker, is this the impossible... The, the first impression association? <laughs> it's, just, it's still Mario. It's funny, though. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. I love it. Um, okay. Um, now, let's talk Game of the Year. Ooh. Game of the Year. So, your pick. If you had to just take it all in. It's the end of 2015. Your favorite game that came out this year. Okay. Let's get to it. Nine, I'm going to start with you. My favorite game from this year probably would still be Bloodborne. All right, Bloodborne. <laughs> I love it. I, I keep going back to it. I, there's just something about those games, the Souls games, and now the, the Bloodborne franchise that I just can't get enough of. Yeah. No matter what, I can always go back to them. I've never traded a single one in or gotten rid of it. I don't even let people borrow them. Sure. That's how adamant I am about playing these games. That's awesome, man. Um, I, you know, a worthy, worthy pick. Uh, like I said before, I mean, they it's got everything the right. Uh, yeah, the the, yeah, oh, the, DLC. the DLC. So, bad. so um, okay, Bloodborne. Bloodborne. That's my game of the year. Cool. All right, Jeremiah, we're on to you. What do you think? Your I'm, pick for 2015 I'm gonna game of the year. I'm going to have to go year. with Fallout. I, I do. It's a I great have game. To. It was I'm my most anticipated a lot of time game. With Fallout right and even though. I had no idea I was even anticipating it until E3 when they're like, "Oh, by the way, it's it's going to be out in a couple months." Yeah. So I was like, "Ah!" But uh, a quick bit of information: we are the very first people into Bethesda's briefing this year. That was nuts. It was awesome, <laughs> Bethesda. Thank you so much, Press Start TV, Bethesda. Awesome. Um, but yeah, that was. You're right. That that media briefing hyped Fallout to the point where Nine and I were looking at each other, going. There's way too much. There's to too do. much to do. There's so much it's to true. do. I mean, that game for me at this point now has turned into more of a chore than anything else. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. I still play it more than anything else. Yep. All right. Uh, um, well, what do you got? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right after this break. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. Uh, we just got done talking about our favorite games of the year, and as promised, my game of the year is Fallout. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think again, just the amount of time that Bethesda put into it, the freedom that you have in the game, and just the ability to do whatever, whatever. you want. Uh, the, just the things that can get you sidetracked. I mean, everything's working in that game for me. Um, you know, um, it's a great game. Lot, lots of good contenders. Okay, so now let's talk about um, our most anticipated game for 2016. Mine's easy. Okay. <laughs> I've been talking about this game all year long. Sure. 
Three little words. Bloodborne 2. No. no. Um, wish. <laughs> Bloodborne Dark two. Souls 3? Nope. What? <laughs> no Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Easily my most anticipated game for 2016. Mm. And it edges out Dark Souls by a landslide. Really? Yes. After you just got done saying there's something about those games that... There, there are, but this game, I want... Like I said a couple weeks ago, if Dark Souls 3 and No Man's Sky came out on the same day, I would buy No Man's Sky. In a heartbeat. Some pretty strong words, Jeremy. I love oh, sci-fi. Love it. It's crazy. I love the freedom and openness of this game, and I'm so intrigued by what is going on in this game that I have to know what's happening. You know, I'm just giving you a hard time, but you're absolutely right with everything you're saying. Dude, I mean, it's, 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 it's going to be a phenomenal time. I, I love the story behind it as well. These guys, you know, small team, started to develop the game. Look up No Man's Sky if you haven't already. Watch the trailers. They're a small indie team that de started to develop started the game. four people. And now they're up to 12. Now it's just escalating to this massively huge project and just, you know, I, you know, we can't wait to get our hands on this thing. And so, they basically had to restart so when Europe had all that flooding last year. Yeah. They lost everything. Microsoft, Gearbox, Sony, and everybody like banded together to buy them new equipment to it's get awesome. back going on this project. Just amazing. Um, Can you imagine the pressure? Yeah. Sean Murray, I'm pretty sure, is like starting to like sweat bullets in his sleep <laughs> from this like, game. I gotta deliver, I gotta I don't deliver. I don't know if he does sleep anymore. He pro he says he doesn't. <laughs> Alright, so nine, your most anticipated title of 2016 is No Man's Definitely Sky. Definitely No Man's Sky. Great, great choice. Um, and again, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. This is Jeremiah. I'm Jeremiah. <laughs> I'm Will. This is nine. You. All right, uh, Jeremiah, your most anticipated game of the coming year I is... Don't, I don't want to sound like I'm a bandwagon jumper on her, but <laughs> I'm going to go with No Man's Sky too. I've been looking forward to this game since I heard about it. Exactly. Even with the little amount of details there were, it, it, very it's, limited videos the out there. The best elevator pitch ever was that pitch. I mean, if, if you again, if you watch the story from the beginning, it's kind of hard not to like be excited for oh, yeah. them, for the game, and see what actually comes out of it. Um, I mean, I think new game, I think for the gamer, it's going to be a totally new experience. Absolutely. It's going to be a completely different experience for everybody, too. It, it's definitely changing the face of games as far as I'm concerned. You know, what's what's possible to be Exactly. Done. Like, here's an entire actual... Universe. Well, it's a galaxy, but that's it's. Still, oh, you know, <laughs> it's way bigger than a galaxy, dude. There's 18 quintillion planets. Planets. That's not the stars. That's the planets. Well, we don't know how big galaxies are, but. Did you see them zooming out in that map? Like a, I did. I thought they were. You start somewhere in the galaxy, and you have to get towards the center of it. Like you have to get towards the, the center thing. of the yeah. universe. Of the universe? Yes. You know, There's so many planets that nobody will spawn on the same planet. Yeah. Right. And if you were to visit every single one for one second, it would take you 500 years to visit every planet in the game. Just to put your foot on one planet exactly. for one second. Not including time, the travel. That's not including travel time. Yeah. Yeah. It's that, wild. That's a lot <laughs> of yeah. stuff. That's insane. Um, and, and you know it's funny at, at like E3, everybody was obviously excited for like the Last Guardian. Yep. Uh, you know you have uh, Final Fantasy VII remake and all that kind of yep. stuff. But the guy calmly comes, sh shows up there, and you Sean know he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm just gonna scroll out here, and he's just like, <laughs> and everyone's he like, oh, oh, you can just hear like this commotion. Yeah, everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> it was nuts. Wow, I, I just reminded myself of, of an interesting pick, The Last Guardian. I, I've been, so for me... That's going to be a hard one to yeah. pull off. Yeah, uh, for me... We don't even know if it's coming out next year, though. I, I, I yeah. We just know that they are still making it. <laughs> There's gate, like, Horizon. The Horizon's looking really good. Horizon's out there for me. I think, um, hopefully, The Last Guardian can be in that. But I'll give you my pick. I mean, I, I think No Man's Sky is definitely on my, my list for sure, 1,000%. Right. But for me, I am just a huge fan of this series, and I've got to say Uncharted 4 is my most anticipated game it, of 2000. It's going to be a good game. I can't wait for it. I, I just, I love, I can't, I've been waiting for Uncharted to show up on the next-gen console. I love what I've seen so far of the story. Naughty Dog is one of my favorite developers. I think they're just on it. The multiplayer looks interesting with the new power-ups and, yeah. and everything. I think there's going to be an amazing campaign, and 
pretty good <laughs> multiplayer. So all in all for me, I'm just on board with the, that I, title. I, I so. can agree with that. Uncharted's going to be a great game. Yeah, yeah. So, and so it should excited. have been out this year, but sadly it got bumped. Yeah. Any other titles you're really waiting for? A lot of the titles that I'm really waiting for, it's it's tentative whether it'll be this coming year or not. Yeah. Um, so it's hard to say, really. I mean, I, anything else on your radar? Dark Souls, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Souls. But I know that's coming out in April, so I, 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 I there's a guarantee for that, and I know I'm going to buy it. It was Uncharted, a hard choice. Uh, I also is definitely on my list too. I, I would say The Legend of Zelda was a, a game that Ooh, yeah. I really wanted to, but again, just edged out. By but it. see, I'm also waiting to see if they announce that for the NX. Yeah, sure. It'll probably be I, on the I, NX. I think it's going to do the, the Twilight Princess yeah, thing. Exactly. It's going to do a dual launch for both systems. All right, so there you have it, our most anticipated titles for this year. Thank you so much for joining us. You can check out all of our content on PressStartTV.com. We really appreciate you spending some time with us. Until next time, we'll see you. Later. Ah!